Hey YouTube, it's your boy Mizuki, back with another video. And as you guys already know, Update 2 has recently launched, like five days ago. And with the release of this new update, a lot of controversy went around. For example, the Lightning Rework, which I actually made a video on, so go check it out. And things like Wandering Trader, which for some reason at first people were hyping up, but the following day people were complaining on how ass it is. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyways, with that in mind, a lot of people are bored and are already beginning to crave and unravel the release date and everything coming in the next update, which is me too. Y'all aren't alone. That's literally why I made this video. Anyways, for those of y'all just like me, it's your lucky day because I've packed all the info given to us as of now into this video. Note that I talked to a lot of the active members, I've dug really deep into every section and every poll and took everything said in all these sections pretty literally. A couple of easters have been hidden by the devs, but that ain't slipping through my fingers. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So before we begin, let's just go over the background on what happened and why people are getting bored of update 2 already. So now, don't get me wrong, update 2 was a pretty solid update. I mean, it is one of the huge ones, so you'd expect some positive things to come from it. For example, of course, Chaos got a new passive, two new accessories were added, three new legendary skills were added, but the issue is, none of these things necessarily affected Proxite's gameplay in any way. And the long-awaited lightning revamp gave him more bugs than fixes. It's overall kind of a weird update, and you'd expect something as huge as this to at least rework the whole Bankai and or add a new race, but that never happened, so the long-awaited update that was said, the prophecy said, that this would save Proxide wasn't really all that. Now with that in mind, Update 3 has got a whole load of content that is going to make Update 2 look like a joke. So all y'all Proxide players who are getting bored, I definitely recommend y'all stick around because it's really going to make things fun. For one, it's almost guaranteed that the Fullbringer update will come out in the next update. I mean, people have been begging for the Fullbringer update since before Update 1. Everyone kept getting superhuman, that's why when you hop onto those false quote unquote fullbringer guys on YouTube, you see people absolutely begging for the fullbringer race in the comments section. So right, it's been on Proxide's to-do list for quite some time, two, a poll before the idea of update two was even created, uh, and it was discussing whether Proxide should add sinners and or a new race of fullbringers. And all y'all OG players, you don't even have to be OG, you saw that poll. Uh, on how y'all probably could guess uh, how that went. Well yeah, fullbringers topped sinners, because who the hell are sinners? Like, come on guys. Anyways, Proxide already discussed the creation of this race literally millennia back, so it's most likely been developed for some time now. And three, a recent poll was launched asking the community whether they want modeled fullbringer clothes or just 2D, and the community answered with 2D. Meaning that Proxide does not have to spend weeks on thinking of ideas and creating fullbringer clothes, ramping up their promises by like a threefold. I mean, realistically, now all they gotta do is just make animations and a bit of VFX, which would probably take Proxide team two weeks tops if they haven't done it already. Bringing us back to the point on when will Fullbringers come out? Update 3. They most likely have already finished it, or at least come close to completing this race. It's been in the makings for quite some time, people. Now, of course, Fullbringers aren't the only content being added into Update 3. We got a lot more. For example, in the description at the end of Update 2's launch, in the update logs, Mr. Proxite states that in the next up section, how he's going to be adding manifest touch-ups, aka a manifest buff, that will be added as a lot of players requested. I mean, the manifest buff hasn't been begged for like the thunder rework or the lightning rework, or revamp, or whatever, but it's definitely been something that a lot have asked for. More content such as trading hubs will be added as well, and what I like about anime games in Roblox is how each have their own unique aspect. For example, trading in Proxide. I mean, we, we got the Wandering Trader from Update 2, now we're getting some sort of HQ for it all. Sounds pretty dope. <laughs> Proxide really getting commercial out here. I mean, soon you're gonna have to open up a bank account and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, lastly, uh, new raid bosses will be added, basically like Aizen and Ukiora. So the next update won't just be like a whoa. We're adding three new passes for this long-awaited update and bettering the VFX a bit and calling it a rework even though we didn't even target the issue people wanted to resolve. No, this will be a genuine stuff that'll change the course of the game. And this is just the beginning. Like, this is... This has been said like three days ago and we still got three weeks to get more info. I'm pretty excited. Now anyways, y'all, that is what I got for y'all in today's video. Again, I'm personally very disappointed about Update 2. 
I mean, a Lightning Reaver could have used a bit more touch-ups. For example, a damage buff would have been nice, because the Lightning Shikai and Bankai, primarily the Shikai, Loki does no damage and brings no bread. It's also so buggy sometimes, and the ultimate is ass as it ever was. I don't know, personally not really vibing with that, but that's just me and a thousand other people. But aside from that, I hope this video sums things up for those of y'all that had questions. Um, I'm personally hella excited for this since I got a full bringer, aka superhuman account cooking already. By the way, check out my progression video I made on it. Uh, it's pretty hell. It was a lot of hell there. Uh, once this full bringer update drops, I'm gonna be one of the first to be hella strong with it. So definitely something to look forward to. Also, for those of y'all that are, are curious, I will be dropping a full bringer tutorial once the update drops. I lowkey thought it was gonna drop update too, so therefore I made like I made half a script and a thumbnail. But it didn't come out so i kind of postponed it but anyways i'll drop a video so definitely check my channel out before watching other people got you and on that note like sub all the proper things and i'll see you on the next one ciao